I'm Michael Warren. And I'm January Keaton. Uh, the deadline, guys, to renew a deferred action for childhood arrivals permit, known as DACA, is quickly approaching. 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz shows us how a local university is helping make the renewal process easier for DACA recipients. Edna. Earlier this month, President Trump announced to end the DACA program. However, he has granted renewals for those whose permits expire before March 5th. The problem is recipients had less than a month to renew their permits. Mercer University School of Law is hosting a free clinic to help make this process a little easier. It was just a, a need in the community. A need that affects the future of thousands of people. People had less than a month to file things, especially after the hurricane that came through and everything. On September 5th, President Trump decided to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. An executive action that allowed hundreds of thousands of people who came to the United States illegally as children to work and study with protection. However, DACA recipients with permits expiring before March 5th can file for renewal. Something that um, where there's a really short timeline. With deadline being October 5th, just a couple of weeks away, Mercer University School of Law is lending a hand. We're going to be here from 10 to 4 on Saturday and Sunday this weekend, um, helping people to complete DACA renewal forms. Students, faculty, and immigration lawyer Jennifer Moore will be available to answer questions and make the renewal process easier. Filling out and reviewing and screening for eligibility for renewal for DACA. Moore says it's important to her to provide as much help as possible. There are people who have grown up here, they are educated here, they are contributing to the economy, some are beginning to have children here um, who are, you know, going to grow up and go to school. With a short deadline, the Mercer staff knows it's tough for recipients to come up with almost $500 so soon. There will be staff from the uh, Mexican consulate in Atlanta here to screen people if they're uh, eligible for financial assistance. All the resources recipients need to live their dreams a little longer. Moore says it's important to speak to a lawyer instead of a notary if you have any questions about this process. The clinic is at the law school this weekend. You can find their address on our website 41nbc.com as well as what you need to bring and how to make an appointment.